Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my working slot machines that are only one wide. So they are very much tileable. Now, I've always had two problems with slot machines. Now, they're not really problems, but they make slot machines bad. Is one, they have a payment system in work, but they're way too big. So you can't have them nice and even right here. As you can see, they're only one away from each other. Or they're small in work, but have no payment system. So that means you just walk up to them, click a button, and you get an item no matter what. So what I did was I made them one wide so they're right next to each other and they also have a payment system so we go up to anyone we really want to they all work independently off each other we go inside the dropper put a piece of gold in there i'm using gold ingots as my payment system you can use whatever you want as your payment system you know diamonds emeralds all that stuff so what i can win from this is dirt which is the lowest thing iron which is the third highest thing emeralds which is really high and then a diamond which is way up there so the the, the one i'm gonna mostly get is dirt dirt is the biggest thing i'm probably gonna get from this so if when i click this button right here i'll get an item from it and we go oh a diamond where'd it go ah, diamond <laughs> i got a diamond from this thing nice so as you saw it kind of like shot off because there's a dispenser back here so it's either gonna shot shoot out this way from the forward or from the side don't worry it will always come out but it's going to come from one of those directions because the dispenser i can't believe i got a diamond from that i am very lucky <laughs> i mostly get dirt from this also you don't only have to put in there one at a time you know you could chuck in like five in there or six and then just keep clicking the button so i could click the button six times so one let's see what we get Ooh, two. Ah, oh, there we go that got, there goes the dirt <laughs> three. Oh, i got another diamond wow i'm getting lucky here four up oh, there goes another dirt and you know you get the gist of it okay <laughs> i don't have to keep counting so i think i just used up all my gold yep and like i said you could go to any which one you want they all work guys so if i went inside this one and i threw you know like let's put two pieces of gold in this one and let's play on this one let's see what we get oh i got a piece of dirt and a, oh, a diamond again man wow i'm getting a lot of diamonds but as you can see guys they all work independently off themselves and they are very easy to build so let's start building this thing guys all right, guys, so for this build, we're going to need a one by seven spacing, and we're going to have to dig down three. So it's, like I said, guys, tileable. You can put them right next to each other. Now, for this build, we're going to need three hoppers, two droppers, one dispenser, one redstone comparator, three redstone repeaters, three redstone torches, six redstone dust, a button, some blocks of choice. I'm going to be using white stained clay and sandstone as my block of choice. We're also going to need one slab one chest and the paintings are optional i just put paintings in front of here so it kind of looks like a slot machine kind of deal you don't need to do that so once you've got everything you got your one by seven and you've dug down your three just come all the way to the bottom right here in the front this is where our slot machine is going to be going so if we just come up three blocks from here one two three right here is where our slot machine is going to be going so let me get rid of that for now so, and let's take out a chest i guess whatever here we go <laughs> so what i want you to start off by doing is take out your dropper so right here is going to be the front of your slot machine so we're going to turn this way and put a dropper facing towards the back like that and then what you can do is go into sneak mode and put a button right off the dropper like so next what i want you to do is come off over here in the back and i'm just going to take out some blocks to put my redstone down on we don't need our button anymore so let's just use blue let's use blue i haven't used blue in a while <laughs> So what we're going to do is right off the back from this hopper, it's going to come out two blocks and up one like that. And then going into this block, we're going to put a hopper like that. Next, what I want you to do is come right underneath this hopper. We can delete this block right here. It's not needed. Come right underneath this hopper and put another hopper coming right off of this hopper like that. So it looks like this. And then we're going to put a chest right underneath this hopper right here. This is where our items will funnel. Oh yeah, I also said, if you're wondering if you could get your money from this, yes, you can. Look, there you go. Look, ah, there we go. <laughs> See, if you want to collect your money afterwards, it does funnel down into a system where it will collect your money. So if you are running a casino or some sort in your game and you want to have it so you can get your money, you can set up a little way to get down there and collect your money like that. So that's why that chest is right there. Next, what I want you to do is place three blocks off from this hopper right here. So we're just going to come out three blocks. One two and three like that then coming out of the top hopper right here we're going to put a comparator like so with two pieces of redstone dust in front of it a block in front of the redstone dust and then on top of this block we're going to put a torch a block and then a torch to the side it will go off the good thing about this build guys it's one wide so you know you know where all the redstone's going to be going <laughs> you can't really get confused on this one then what we're going to do is come right down underneath here and we're going to put a block here and then put a slab right underneath this block delete the middle block and then coming out of the block that has this redstone dust right here we're going to put a repeater going this way on one tick delay so don't tick it at all next we're going to put a block up in front of our one tick delay repeater a block down below delete this middle block and then put some redstone dust right here so it looks something like that let me give you a little far away view because it is getting a little, little uh cramped in there 
Next, what we're going to do is come three blocks of dust from here. So one, two, three. And then coming right in front of this block, block of dust, we're gonna, I mean, right in front of this dust, we're going to put a block and then put a torch right here. This will lock this hopper. It will send power to this block, thus locking this hopper right here so our money just doesn't keep falling straight through and ruining everything. Next, what we're going to do is put a block coming off this on torch right here. Then we're going to put a dropper coming out of this block. Make sure it's a dropper, not a dispenser, a dropper. And then coming out of this dropper, we're going to be putting it into our dispenser. So go ahead and take out your dispenser right here and then put your dispenser right above this hopper facing towards the front. So put it right above the hopper like that. So make sure it's a dispenser and then put a hopper going into the back of the dispenser like so. Next, what we're going to do is right on top of this dropper and hopper coming out of this off torch, we're going to put two repeaters. So one, two, and then set them both to two ticks delay like that. Next, what we're going to do is just put a block right above. Now we can just take out our walling block now. So take out your walling block and whatever color you want to make your slot machine. So I'm going to make this one blue, I guess. So I'm just going to put a blue block right above it like that. And then we can just put our wall around it like this. So just put your wall right around this dispenser so the items don't go flying everywhere. There we go. Put item there like that. And then we can just take out our flooring block. Like I said, I'm going to be using my smooth sandstone. And we're going to put our flooring block like this. Next, what we're going to do is put our payment item in. Now, I'm going to be using gold ingots. You can use whatever you want for this build, guys. I'm going to be using gold ingot for mine. So right here at this top hopper that the comparator is coming out of, we're going to go right into this hopper right here. As you see, it says hopper. And then we're going to put four items like this. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to put 18 items here. So you know what? Just let's put one here and then 18 items right here. So four items and then 18 items right here. And then underneath this hopper, inside this hopper that's leading into the chest, we're going to go ahead and throw one more payment item in like that. So now our payment items in. Now all you have to do is just fill up this hopper right here with what you want to win. So what all I did was this. So I just did this. So the least payment, the one you don't want people to get. So you, you pretty much want people to get this item the most, which is something that's worthless. <laughs> so I put in the most dirt inside this dropper. So I chose four stacks of dirt. One, two, three, four like that. And then we're going to choose two stacks of our payment item. I am using gold ingots. So I went one, two. And then I also chose one stack of iron, one stack of emeralds, and one stack of diamonds. Those are the ones we want to get. We want to get the iron, the emeralds, and the diamonds. But as you can see, it's the hardest one to get out of these ones right here. Next, all we have to do is just go inside this dropper right here. And then what I like to do is just place them in any order you want. So I just go like the dirt, like that. I just put it in like a funky little pattern like this. There we go. Uh, you know what? I kind of want my diamonds and my emeralds to be away from each other. So, you know, let's go with this pattern. I like this pattern better. If you put like the dirt around the outside corners like this, there we go, oh, like that, there we go. See how it makes a nice little funky pattern? So as you can see, we're gonna most likely get dirt the most, and then before that, we're gonna get gold, and then we're going to get emeralds and iron. Now, obviously, if you're having people play this a lot and you want them more, that's the reason why I have these chests right here. All this has in it is more items to funnel down into this dropper in case you're gonna be having a lot of people play this. So to do that, all you're going to need is now this is an add on guys. This was not part of the regular build. This is just an add on in case you want it. You're going to need one more hopper and you're going to need two more chests for this add on. So all you're going to do is just put a hopper going into the side of your dropper and then put two chests right on top of it right up here. So chest and chest. Next, what I want you to do is take out five of your items that you're using. So we're going to take out the dirt. We're going to take out our gold our iron our emeralds and our diamonds that's why i used five different ones guys because it could fit inside this hopper right here so then we're gonna go dirt gold iron emeralds and diamonds like that and then you can just fill up the whole entire chest up here with extras like i did over here as you can see all i did was just fill up it with extras like that so we are completely done guys now all we have to do is just test around and make sure everything's working so we just take out our gold i'm just gonna throw a whole stack in there there we go and when we click the button hopefully we get something good and we got an emerald not bad not bad we got an emerald let's try it again we got dirt see we, we don't want dirt come on no dirt no dirt yeah oh we got our money back eh. getting your money back is you know it's a whatever oh a diamond there we go that's what i'm talking about diamond dirt Ugh, dirt <laughs> oh yeah also you can go ahead and put your uh painting you can put your painting on your slot machine like that and there you guys go that is how you build a one wide tileable working slot machine if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos let's try this one more time come on diamond 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 then eh, we got our money back one more time come on come on big money big money ba oh dirt oh whatever i give up <laughs> all right guys peace